<laughs> Welcome back to the Casa, everybody. It is Friday. It is that has not changed since the tournament started. Uh, but I think, <laughs> given the closeness of the sets that I anticipate seeing here in the top eight, there's a chance. There's a chance maybe we could make it into Saturday, Saturday morning. Uh, but I know none of the players entering here want it to go that slowly for them. But I know Liston and I would think it's a treat. What's up, Liston? Oh, what's up, monkey business? And it definitely will be a treat, especially this match we have coming up right now. It's going to be Hoji versus NYC Furby. Turo. Now, it's an interesting, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Obviously, it's going to be Cody versus Dalsim, right? Now, mm, yeah. I know for a fact that Cody players hate this matchup. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, they, they actually, I've actually heard Hoji say that this is literally Cody's worst matchup. Wow. Uh, so Art's well armed going into this one, not just with Dalsim, but even in the event that he didn't want to play what seems to be a winning matchup for Sim. There's even a fall here for, for Art. Um, I don't know if Art's played it yet, but I'd be interested to see it under any circumstances. Just as interested in seeing the Sim, though, and getting a demonstration of why this matchup is bad. Yeah. Uh, I think, what do you anticipate for the V skill choice for Cody here? Okay, so like. Probably gonna be V skill two for the projectiles. Yep. Maybe going through some limbs. Maybe. Yeah, going through know. going through uh, EX Yoga Fire can be definitely real useful, right? I mean, well, thing but I is mean, though. The, go ahead. I was gonna say that that the V skill two could be useful to like randomly slip through like a standing medium punch or something like that. Maybe. But I don't yeah, know. Then... I, I, I'm not really sure if any of his V skills really help out too much in this matchup. That could be why there's some difficulty as well. Yeah, I, I think I would maybe think about V skill one to help deal with Dalsim drill. Drill pressure is a universal problem, and if you have a, a one button pseudo invincible anti air, then you're well equipped to fight it. I know that's why Abigail players love V skill one when fighting mm. him. Thing is though. Uh, Cody is still applying Great Life to himself every single time he does that, and Great Life's already a problem in the sim matchup. I know Art will be stacking on the mediums and heavies, and I don't know if the Cody player even plans to get the Great Life back if mm. they're playing in a way that makes them use Visco 1 as a reversal anyway. Yeah. I mean, another problem with... I feel like another problem... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so another another issue with this matchup is like, you know, Cody definitely Cody players definitely live for the V trigger, right? But I feel like yeah. there are situations where Sim forces you to V reversal. Yeah, out of just about any air gale, any drill. If but I mean, even then you might get thrown, right? Depends upon yeah. how shallow they land. Exactly. And, uh, A v if you're one. blocking VT one or EX Yoga Fire. At the mm -hmm. corner, you you don't want him sneaking up on you like that, especially if you're in a situation where high low 50 50 will kill you. V reversal becomes essential to negate that mix up. So, mm -hmm. in clutch situations, as Cody, you typically rely on V trigger, and I still think that's the plat the path we're gonna see because who wants to play I, I, planning to I lose? So too. Yeah. yeah, like I, I think so too. Like, like for one thing, you're gonna have to get in, and then you're gonna need extra firepower when you do get in. And um, he did choose um, Prime Sway as his V-Skill, so he chose two. I see. Yeah. And uh, an, a pretty good choice overall. You you can build a big chunk just by going through anything. You mm. maybe can also knock down Sim at full screen, dodging, swaying, and then hitting him. And I every mean, knockdown means a lot. That's true. It does add to his damage potential because you can link a special move afterwards. I mean cancel into a special move afterwards. For extra, yeah. just a little bit extra damage. Yeah, and that Ooh. combines well with this VT2, which he's in right now. Ooh. Oh, what a dodge. Coverage. The, rock, the rock saves him. Oh, yeah. An unfortunate decision from Arturo. And rocks it, but still mm. able to stay safe enough. There's probably a pretty big gap between the... There's a humongous gap. The... Actually, actually, mm. okay, going back to my characters, uh, Sagat. If you oh. see that with Sagat, you can just press standing around and say crush counters him before it even appears. And then you get to juggle off that too. Yes. So like, yeah. so you don't even get to trade off the fireball. The fireball just doesn't appear. Yeah, and I'm sure Hoji knows that too, but the intention is to dash forward and punish instant overhead the way we've been doing for four years. Yes. Suddenly, Arturo's got this 
other trigger that you have to worry about that adds at least a couple layers of mind games, at least one layer of mind game to oh, that punish. Yeah. And there goes that viewer rush right there, wanted to get him off. Okay, heavy ruffian, shooting out the air. Really good spot, and he seals it with a standing medium kick. Probably counter this um, sim standing medium kick. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And okay, he takes off an article of clothing. Flexing now, chains are yeah. broken. Round Feeling three, Hoji. Yeah. Feeling the fire. Oh, that's unsafe. Yeah, great punish on Crime Sway. I mean, by great, I mean Sim's best. A single light yes. and an EX fire, and not for max range. <laughs> I think, you know what is? I think Sim can do better. I think he can get back medium kick. I think that's six frames. Yeah, it is six frames. But, but the, the issue is you're online, and then, and then did you notice exactly what he did? Because um, Crime Sway is negative six. So it would be a reversal time punish. Right, right, right. Can definitely get it though. Um, and also, Arturo is not too worried, or Sabin as he entered this tournament as. Uh, not too worried either way because that last round was taken real quick, real clean. We didn't even get time to talk about it. I mean, according to Cody players, this is like a 7 3 matchup, so why would you yeah. be worried going to 7 yeah. 3 matchups? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That, that, that button has definitely. I don't know if that button has always been that good, but it's one of Cody's better poke buttons that down fears. Yeah, a lot of active frames on that thing. Of course, it's the choice to be looking to crush counter any limb that yeah. you see. And yeah, there's another one, crush counter again. Too. He's already at V-Trigger, having barely taken damage, and already has Arturo in the corner. So this matchup, I think, has just hit a solid 5-5. Five, five. It's yeah. looking 6-4 Cody now landing the command grab, getting OP. 6-4, but what a <laughs> <Yeah>. backdash. <laughs> yeah. What a backdash. Yeah, the air reset backdash. That was definitely a 7-3 backdash. Oh. <laughs> and... A pretty even trade, even life both ways. Oh, Still no. some life left. Messed up the Tagony Gale. I wonder if I if wonder if EX... it could have ended it, right? Yeah, EX Zonk into VT. Oh, V EX Zonk as the overhead punish. How do you move forward as quickly as possible when you reacted late to blocking an overhead? Oh wait, I have EX Zonk charge. Let's do just it. Let go of the button. Yeah, <laughs> just let go and get the punish. Interesting. Koji looked like he was looking for a limb from Dalsim after Dalsim got hit. Didn't crush counter it. Right, Wasn't that be reversal? Wow, he's crush countered him so many times that he already has trigger. My god. Yo. Did we miss here the, the matchup analysis from the Cody players? I know. When, when Hoji <laughs> said that it's his worst matchup, he meant that his, his worst winning matchup. <laughs> of all the winning matchups, this one is the most patience testing. I think that's about it though right now. <laughs> I only win by 5.5. Yeah. Ouch. And oh, winning big, going over every single fire sphere that Dalsim was throwing, whether it was VT or regular oh, Yoga Fire. Wins. He found that spot, crossed up, got the combo. Yep. I really wonder what kind of adjustment Arturo is going to make. Because, like, definitely after the first game, Ho Hoji didn't do badly the first game at all. But some tweaking here or there, you saw how dominant he was in that second game. Yeah. I think getting VT early is huge, so swinging it with crush counters will is here to stay. There's another one, I just mean, as hard. I mean, when you land like five crush counters within the first 10 seconds. Wow. The round. You know, there's an acknowledgement. Like, Go ahead. I was like, he, like, he got crush counters so fast that he was not afraid to do Vero. So he had V-Trigger already. He was like, you know what? I didn't spend any life to get this at all. I yeah. 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 But, but, but you know... I'll Oh, I'm sorry, say what you can say. Well, he hasn't been able to activate at all and has lost like 500 life just to limbs here. Too early to go for the throw. No conversion here. Probably meant to cancel that crush fears. A lot of drops here from Hoji, but he picks it back up, starting by picking up health with command grab. And here we go. That's a V reversal punish, but not a kill. No combo there. If that were medium rough, and it'd be over. Instead, Arturo clutches it out, takes advantage of what you might call a choke or at least a cough in what could have been Hoji's round. It definitely was supposed to be his round. It's difficult to know exactly how many different ways you have to convert. I don't think anyone is prepared for Arturo to get hit in that exact way. Mm. No, we got definitely, Team Chris definitely. Entering, the, entering the room, by the way. I know, I saw that Team Chris PC has entered the room. Yeah. Hoji has entered the chat with a pretty damaging VT conversion. Still has about half of it left, but holding some pressure and chip now from Dalsim here. Now it's not over for Hoji. Oh, that might feel a little bit though. Yeah, he nullified the VT though. 
Uh, never, never <laughs> noted. Only everything. the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dawson like, comes like, in fully loaded. It's it's so hard losing a round or a game with full critical art with full meter. Yeah, that's that, his good so, reversal. That's his damaging comeback tool. All of it, exactly. nothing, all for nothing. Yeah, to no avail. I, I mean, he did have chances. Like, unfortunately, he didn't guess properly on Arturo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super it's huge awesome. too for Cody. You can catch limbs with it even on its own. Raw. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, man. Like, it actually kind of sucks you in. Yeah, exactly. You can expect I mean, at least like 320 damage on any hit from it. Nice anti-Aerofian hit. Challenge from Arturo though. Yeah, called out the w forward walk movement. Mm, Sentinel. That's huge. Oh no, but that could have been so much worse, Arturo. Mm -hmm. Kind of looked out. On yeah, that one. and then Arturo also acknowledged the uh, potential for Hoji to activate. So we saw Reversal earlier. <laughs> it goes back at the reverse angle. I know, that's actually kind of cool. Not very useful against Dalsim, but you know, <laughs> yeah. kind of cool. As yeah. Dalsim happened to be floating at the time. Maybe if he teleports directly in front of you, you can hit him with his own fireball, but otherwise not. Yeah. And so... This is set point in favor of Arturo. Taking the shirt off again, it's getting kind of hot. It's do yeah. or die. The heat is cranked in this solitary room, bang on the controls, making sure we're all sweating. Dalsim already came prepared, not wearing a shirt in the first place. Arturo 2 bringing the heat from the start. Ooh, almost got jumped in on, but that standing meeting punch recovers so quickly. Yeah. Oh, and you see him getting counter hitted out of the down fears. He's definitely fishing for those standing medium kicks. To no avail. You gotta feel for Hoji's big defeat to just EX fire there. He lost a ton of ground jumping back and then still got hit by it. But yeah. we're back to mid screen now. Whoa! Coverage! But Arturo still takes advantage, recognizing the one sided scramble, BT backing him up. Oh, did not check that. Trigger activation. Now Arturo gets a second shot at that. Oh, good jump out. He's sending it back. This is hot pursuit. It is not ending. Literally hot pursuit. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe he swings it back. Oh I, no, I, he ruffianed into it. I actually think that when he landed that ruffian kick, he should have done a card. Yeah, absolutely. It would have killed him for sure. I mean, if it didn't kill him, at least it would get rid of the the V trigger. Mm hmm. Instead, we're in a, a one hit overhead or low situation. What's it gonna be? Low, low, low. Oh. It counter hit him too. I think Hoji knew it was coming. Wanted to contest uh, it before it could start, but was just a little no too late. Win. Yeah, I don't know. Especially, you know, it's so hard when you're at that spot where you know a sniper is gonna gonna kill. Yeah, that's, that's a spot that's where I'd really time. like to have V skill one, so I wouldn't mm. die. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> stare at Dalsim a little bit and then pull the trigger. Hope you can invincible through it. I mean, if you're gonna go out, you go out on your terms, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you already have no life left, who cares about the great life you're giving yourself, right? Exactly, exactly. But, like, unfortunately for Hoji, uh, was that winners or was that, was that loser's side? I think we usually start with the winner's side top eight, so okay. I think Hoji's sticking around as well. All right, Good so for him. he's not out of the woods yet, right? He's going to go down to Tartars for a while, you know? It's going to be hot down there, kind of like it was hot in this match against Dalsim. Tura's going to move on. To the winners finals and who do we have for oh good on my end oh that's um that's brian f <laughs> i never would have known i i knew brian <laughs> f had a seth in addition to a g and a raw but i didn't know good on my end was it but i i appreciate the hell out of that tag you know, good on my end <laughs> makes a lot of sense playing on pc too they apparently have a better experience over there i don't know what their opponent's playing on, or what kind of... Brian F's what... been rocking Boxer throughout the bracket in the oh, yeah? stream, yeah. We saw um, he was playing against uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sticky Fingers, who's a Florida player. But yeah, yeah. he was using our Boxer the whole way. So the avatar says Seth, but I'm just saying, hey, my avatar says Cammy, and uh, I'm one of the worst Cammies you've never seen. So, you know, <laughs> just saying, it's a tell him. Damn, dude, that's such a great title. It makes me want to not see your cami, so you can no, preserve you really that don't. status. But fun <laughs> fact, I did win a fifty, like a forty, 
a 30 or 40 person bracket in a VR uh, convention in 2016 with Cami. Wait, they had they had a Street Fighter tournament and like was 30 random people signed off. SF5, yeah. <laughs> and I just I won with Cami. Were you playing in VR? No, no. It was like it was a full sale oh, university oh, thing. Too bad. I won like a bunch of T-shirts from EA. Nice, a bunch <laughs> of them, huh? Yeah, but I did win a tournament with Cami. Okay, so, cool. That's real cool. I think it'd be cool if the tournament was in VR somehow, so we could get that Street Fighter 4 3D edition effect. Well, I do have an person. Oculus Rift. Like, you can use the Oculus Rift on the virtual desktop and then have at it, but, I mean, that's just... <laughs> you think your reactions are faster playing fighting games in a VR headset? Uh, maybe we fix the netcode. <laughs> <laughs> that, must, that must be it. Oh, my bad. Go back into queue. Right, yes, because the players have arrived. It is Moons on Marvisto's PC account, surely being cheered on by, by Marvisto in the distance, and by that I mean two feet behind him, Corona in hand, Corona kept at bay. Yelling STD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and For moral support. Hoping that everybody else already knows what it means so that it doesn't have to be translated. <laughs> yeah, 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 it doesn't mean what you think it means. But it, it's it's not mean what you're it does not mean what you were taught it meant. <laughs> yeah, they're raised differently down on Long Island. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. like... Right, right. Strong Island for strong lingo. Very mm. unique linguistic uh chants and cheering going on. Speaking Wait, of uh uniqueness. Is this, this is not oh, Okay. Damn, that's there's that's a three way mix up. It's actually Diego in bracket. With oh, yeah. the Cody oh, avatar I, on avatar. Marvisto's account. <laughs> okay. okay. So we were all fooled. I was following I the, the player I, icon. Didn't know this was a three person team. I was yeah. following the color of the geek. Well, it's yeah, like, it's always know, green always, Ken. Always green Ken, always. Yeah. Transcends yeah. even before SF5. So now we know it's Diego B, and uh, I'm actually properly looking at the overlay occasionally to, to make sure of that. He and this uh, Ken with a hint of wine. Always. Yeah. And that's Diego, by the way. Really likes the fireball game. Keeping Borog in the corner. Not afraid of even V skill one. Yeah. And so it's trigger two from Brian F. The command grab matter right there. Yeah. I was going to comment, though, on the trigger choice because we saw an EX dash low land. And with VT1, that's a kill right there. Still, though, the VT led to the kill for Brian F, two or one. He knows how to use both. And he knows Ooh. how to build it real quick with this crush counter, spending the bar to make sure we're fully cornering Diego now. Look at this great life on Diego, too. Oh, and the oh, shimmy land. One of the most subtle of shimmy. He's going to have two bars now. Yeah, one. save him. Yep. And now into the corner we go. This is the power of Ken, the power of VT cancel, the power like of that. the punish. That's that That's new season power, power combo. Water. I love yep. that combo. Ryan F also win. uses it not just for the conversion off the X dash, but to also set up throw bait by either throwing you after the target combo leaves a point blank or yeah. backing up and getting that crouch. But that so overhead, be on the lookout for that. That overhead yeah. is unsafe in any street. Oh, that, I mean, oh, when you space definitely. it like that, I mean, can step kick. Yeah. No, not the step kick, but the whichever one. Thunder kick, thunder kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can I always call it by the motion in Super Turbo. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was smart of Brian F2 to be going for the light punish because it looked kind of meaty. I know Diego knows how to meaty that thunder kick under a lot of circumstances. Take it from minus six to minus four. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good response. Yeah. Oh, that's negative. Yeah, good punish. Still awake. It's been a long battle at midstream. The attrition getting started. Oh, look at counter. Oh, oh, there's the, the overhead right to the dome. And Brian F takes the damage. Still in command grab range off a Still plus taking on the damage. Medium. Yeah, yeah, took the damage all the way to the grave. Brian F's on the verge of running away with it now if Diego doesn't get some momentum generated. And Ken is a character who's able to do it. We just need to see a strong hit confirm, maybe some corner carry, maybe a back throw into the corner. I know Diego loves that. Oh, you know what the issue with this matchup is? There it is. All right, actually, yeah, he lands it, exactly. I think in the, mid, the mid range though, the mid range, like Boxer can definitely contend with Ken's walk speed though. Definitely has the button mm -hmm. and the damage output. Yeah, definitely has the damage output. Meaty heavy kick there from Ryan F. 
Diego still with, willing to take the Grey Lion, still willing to throw fireballs, and fully whip punish the dash straight in the best way he could. Target combo all the way to the corner. Alright, he's gonna activate there. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the boiling point now. And Brian F is feeling the heat. <laughs> Yo, forget about Thunder Kick. Let's talk about back medium kick. It somehow oh, yeah. counter hit there, whatever Brian F was trying. I don't think he got hit by it as an overhead, but it's still a threat for sure. It was used from a pretty good spacing too, where the punish is not going to be too damaging. Not in Brog's Crouch Fierce range or anything. Ooh. Oh, counter confirm. Yeah, something that Ooh, good block This time, he saw it coming. He is might be possible? dead. He's dead. He got yeah. some neutral jump there. Oh, oh, wow. When you said he was dead, I didn't believe you. <laughs> I was like, I apologize. I was like, he can't be dead. You can't forget about that counter hit damage stack mm. for the jump in. That's what, what is it, it like 1.5 1. or something like that? Yo, I thought it was... Look, the last time I said something provided a 25% damage increase. All the Vega players came after me for being utterly wrong and not knowing it was a 10% damage increase when his mask was off. But I still think that's a 25% damage increase on the jump in. <laughs> and you can't stop me. I I'm as stubborn as a fighting game player. I have a DP myself in real life. But I want to see Diego start to represent it. Yeah, but having a one-hit super takes damage stealing out of the conversation. Right, yeah, okay. there's no guts involved. None. Oh, but here's Diego. Looking good, sitting on a perfect there. Oh, but the walk up. Yeah, and Baruch has great corner carry, so we could go to the other corner still, potentially. Oh, he's gonna activate here. Is he gonna take the command grab? Oh, he goes for the mix-up. One hit stun situation now. Look out for a command grab. Oh, he went for regular throw. Keeping it risk-free. Alright, still not out of the wood yet. Hmm. And the fireball seals it for Diego in round one. The extended hitbox, not much of a hurtbox. It was pretty close to getting gas traded by Brian F, but... Fireball did his job. He backed yep. off on some of the pressure. It looks like he was trying to either bait something from Diego, but Diego just fireball really and was able to reestablish his offense. Yeah, like, like when mm -hmm. he backed off there, I, I think he expected like Diego to maybe DP, but then he chose jump back. Yeah, but it's it's difficult to back off when you have so much momentum and you have no picks. That's yep. Like, yep. You, your shimmy becomes a gamble. Yeah, and I think that's why I respect Brian for not going for the command grab for the instant stun in that situation. Agreed. Even though it ended up costing them the round. It shows that yeah. you're willing to play the long game because you trust your neutral. You're willing to get hits in mid-screen even. Yeah, I mean... I, I like I like to play it's not greedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but likewise, he, like we just saw him do the EX dash straight after dash straight because he knew that Diego was not going after the block dash straights. Mm -hmm. Not no attempt to punish, so might as well just make that thing a dive throw. Yeah, I guess so. The grounded dive throw. <laughs> we can call it that. I mean, a lot of people complain about that, that EX dash straight after a dash straight. But if you're not challenging the dash straight after a block, I mean, by yeah. all means. And it puts you into a better space to actually frame trap after the second dash straight while also catching back dashes for those who are trying to get air reset. It's a great idea. That's a huge oh, it just, it just looks great. Jump in. I That's mean, the corner right there. Awesome. But Dennis Rogman hasn't won it yet. Diego V stays at mid-screen, <laughs> then goes back to the corner. Yeah, confused us all. Confused Brian F. Confused that we haven't seen VT activation yet. Oh, we saw a good punish. What a punish off the stand short. One hit throw situation. Brian F strikes back after oh. the tick. Oh my god. What, what knowledge that? Yeah. yeah. That was a godlike block from Diego. He knew Brian was gonna wake up. We saw it earlier. Oh, wow. confirmed. no problem though. We were all a little worried that there wasn't a fireball after the stand medium punch, but there was a fireball after the stand medium punch. You know after. why he didn't do? You know why he didn't do the fireball though? Is because he walked forward when he did that standing medium punch. Because so we, if it was blocked, and he tried to do that, he would got DP and died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have to avoid the input error. I mean, you can half circle your fireball, but even then, it's a little bit tricky if you're walking into the button. I mean, I mean, especially S5, it kind of does save your input a bit. Yeah, I appreciate it sometimes, but... I appreciate it sometimes, but things like that, not really. I, don't. Oh, I appreciate every whiff punish I see, and Diego put a good one on screen for us right there, making Dennis Rockman pay. Mm. Put it down. Put it down. Yeah, this Media definitely punch. looks like uh, a mix between San Antonio Spurs, Dennis Rodman, and Double Take with Van Damme. <laughs> I see, yeah. But the way Brian F is fighting is NWO run. 
I, I like the third one the best, not gonna lie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, Diego's gonna look to activate B trigger and he gets a clean fireball into it. Yeah, has all of his resources here too. So EX Fireball could lead to even more plus frames here, but doesn't cancel off of it, and then leaves himself punishable, and then dead too. Wow, yeah, I'm he, really shocked. He came shocked. really close to getting that stand uh, roundhouse crush counter. He was gambling yeah. for that one, but it's minus one on block. I know, he shimmied so hard, Brian's face. And, mmm, double dash at the of the round. At least two or three. There we yeah, go, that's he... the crush counter he wanted. He wanted probably a DP afterwards too, but got Fireball instead, and then got his next Fireball crush countered, including a turnaround nice punch fireball, combo. Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah, hit Brian, that half uh, jungle to see this round. And that is the max damage stun combo. It'll lead to the kill. Brian F optimizing yeah, to the very end of Diego's life here in Winners. So it's going to be Brian F versus Arturo Sanchez, FGC Sabin, NYC Furby, and Winners Finals. And That's going to be an interesting match. Lab that combo until Mori came out and said, you're the father. <laughs> <laughs> that matchup is going to be interesting. Because I, I wonder if it's going to be Balrog versus versus Dal Sim. Or, you know, Brian F does have, like, a G as well. He's got the go on deck, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I still think Rog will do fine in that matchup. And if he's already been playing Rog all day, putting on the show. Is Arturo all the still through... rocking the Falk, too? Sometimes, oh, yes, yeah. Depending on matchups. Though I don't know if you want to play a stick-based keep-away character who physically strikes you against an extended hitbox in advancing normal such as Balrog EX Dash Straight. That, to me, defines that matchup. I guess, but it'd still be fun to watch. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I have fun watching 9-1 matchups, okay? I, I played <laughs> Injustice 1 Zod versus Lex Luthor. <laughs> I've been watching, like, the amount of, like, armored straights or, uh, empty jumps a box would have to do it just looks like a complete obstacle course it's going to be like donkey kong jr watching the matchup between uh with falk <laughs> just how you're going between all those different vines going up and down sliding underneath crossing under i i, I love know. the falk matchup honestly with balrog involved or just any falk matchup with falk oh okay. i literally feel like it's like i'm playing like that vine game <laughs> Pitfall. <laughs> oh man, DKJR. Y'all never played that one? Oh, uh, okay. no. Think... Mar one of the few appearances of Heal Mario. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that for sure. Add he some just looks to like a character. total jerk in that game. He's just <laughs> up top with Daddy Kong in a cage, just casting <laughs> out that whip. Never, there, you never see Mario with a whip. When, when has Mario used a whip? Never. He uses a hammer, a penguin suit, a boot, a fur suit, a propeller hat. That's crazy that they actually gave him a weapon like that. And it reminds me of the fact that Donkey Kong was supposed to have a shotgun in Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, but you're too distracted <laughs> by the ridiculous platform that's similar to getting through Fox Zoning. That's my metaphor. <laughs> and we, we take our metaphors all the way here on commentary. How else are we supposed to describe fighting games while we're not actually looking at fighting games? Thankfully, the match is starting. We got Hoji versus Metro M, Cody versus Vega. Skill 2, Trigger 2 for Hoji, and Trigger 1, Skill 2 for Metro, like it always is. He's a Trigger 1 loyalist, I think. I feel like ever since like V-Trigger 2 has come into SFI, that's kind of been the go-to V-Trigger for Cody players. Definitely. Every now and again, there'll be a V-Trigger 1. And it you lasts forever. Yeah. It's very rare for that thing to be exhausted and go out of match. So that gives you like three what? potential like command grab mixes. Oh, oh, you know what? You know why I did the standing around us there? Because you they can like always do, they, well, they can always do pipe afterwards, right? Oh, okay. And, and, and pipe is negative two, but they, there's like a humongous gap in between button and pipe. That's spacing. Man. I see. You still might that be able to counter hit a late punish though. It turns a negative yep. two into a plus one turn that jump in into a crush counter. Normally Vega's a low damage character who never gets to kill without meter, but I think that's the one way Metro M could have killed with a strike without the meter. Also gave himself V-Trigger. That would have also led to more damage. Plus two on the dash here. And yet still Hoji stays strong defensively. Finds a nice buffer in a Ruffian. Yeah, working on the water game now. Oh, and really taking advantage of Vegas poor anti-airs. 
Yeah, that's critical to every single matchup that the whole cast has against Vega. When and how do you jump at him? You don't throw projectiles and follow them, and he will roll right through and get a full combo. <laughs> Alright. Activate that. Oh, he All caught right. the backdash. I, yo, he read that backdash. It, it's funny how it didn't crush counter, though. Oh, yeah, it was just the backdash recovery instead of the backdash startup. Yeah. Ooh, or back, like active frames, I mean. Ooh. There's a crush. It's one of the worst crushes in the game, though. <laughs> the trade is just enough for Hoji to stay alive here. Both players have been super meter starved the whole set. That continues going into this final round of game one. Oh, definitely. Oh, clean jump in. I'm not really sure what he tried to do with the anti-air. But, but you see the hesitation in Metro's um, anti-air game, right? Like, he... Because you know what it is? Cody jumps really far. Mm -hmm. But he, he but like, I'm sorry, he doesn't jump really far, but he has very long limbs. So, so like, if they empty jump, they don't, um, I'm guessing he didn't want to, like, commit to the anti-air. Just in case there yeah. was an empty jump. Especially because you're Vega and your anti-air normals are things like heavy kick that might get whip punished on the ground if they don't actually do a jump normal. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Alright, he's gonna go for the setup. Really significant here. That's basically nothing. That didn't mm -hmm. let him But the Azuna yeah. drop does the job. Yeah, that's. I think Cody though can struggle in the same area of anti-airing because anti-airs are generally slow. If you yeah. don't have pipe, you can do stand heavy punch. It's still a heavy button though, and you don't feel that confident going straight to it. This is also V skill too, so that's not a backup for invincible anti-air. And if you also are holding Zonk with heavy punch, which every Cody does, you don't have an anti-air anymore. <laughs> Yeah, and then you have to kind of like, you know, do do like ruffian, maybe only for one angle. Yeah, the far angle, right? I, it's really good like, at that angle. Though. I feel like the Cody players that that um whole heavy punch are usually doing B skill one. I see. Yeah, so they have backup, right? That makes sense. Yeah, we've already I, I, seen actually two heavy punch anti-airs this game from Hoji. So I, either, I don't think Hoji. Yeah, just connected on two anti-airs with the B-Skill 2, but was able to juggle that up with a sweep. Getting a juggle after an anti-air in the game is like Yeah, it always looks cool, too. Oh, I think that reversal was a perfect choice for Metro, just escaping right out of there. Vega's actually really privileged in the reversal department, not just because he has two with two different timings, but also because they go airborne. So even yeah. though the rock was what caused the reversal, Hoji could not have just command grabbed there like other characters would get command grabbed. Yeah, I mean, so the, I mean, uh, I'll say what you're saying. Oh, I was going to say, um, I really like how uh, Metro was able to chase down the stone blow as well. Using that new move with the EX as well, able to chase that down. Oh, yeah, definitely. And what I was going to say about the view reversal, like, like Vega is completely throwing Mythical during his view reversal, even at the end. Mm -hmm. And and it's only, like, vulnerable for one frame in both view reversals. And that's two, two different view reversals, yeah. The only complaint you could have about Vega view reversal is that you're cornering yourself. But yes. who cares, yes. right? I mean, Especially as long as you're you in the middle of the, the screen. Options. Yeah, you have all yeah. the options. You have so many escape options. Your yeah, V-trigger and... one is to get out of jail free. And your V skill too is frame one invincible and has an optional attack follow up that can hit build two V meter and crush counter. If yep. anything, getting into the corner is the best way to put your opponent in the corner with some of these guys. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think that's I think that's the case with Ibuki. I feel like if I have Ibuki cornered, I'm cornered. As Diego has shown, the <laughs> only way to get throw loops is usually to back throw the opponent into the corner. Exactly. That's a crush counter though. No punish there on the EX roll. I think it might be a light punish. I'm not sure though. No, no, it's safe. It's safe. It's okay. Negative two, but um, I mean, he could probably neutral jump it or like just straight up hit the button. But he, I can see him not wanting to take that risk. Yeah, because Vega's legs in the somersault have a hitbox that reach up. It could actually exactly. create some pretty funny scrambles. I know, and you don't want to you don't want to randomly get hit by that and then get juggled for extra damage because you tried to go for a punish. Oh, but the overhead, but not in punish range. Maybe you could have done something bigger, like stand medium punch. Ooh, Got whiff over. punished by that big crouch light punch. Yes, Very uh, mobile from Metro M. Metro mobility is probably what the M stands for. Put like, <laughs> himself in the right spot. And that's why oh, Vega doesn't cut his fingernails. Not a yeah. lot of members of the cast can get a punish like that. Yep. That's why he sharpens his fingernails. So just so you get that little extra reach on those jobs. 
Yeah, yeah, the same effect that Colleen has when she activates VT2 and has those icicles on her punches. Yeah. Vega has by default just because his fingernails are so long. The claw on its own, maybe add some range, but I feel like the fingernails are a bigger deal. Yeah. He's been on. Yeah, he definitely like, only this does is the one of the stuff. early characters who, who mm. were obsessed with their looks in video games. That's true, <laughs> for sure. I mean, Vega was one of the few who was like, I gotta look good. <laughs> if Metro had a little bit more meter before that stun combo, he would have had the bar to kill, but now we're dealing with VT Cody, and a comeback is always possible. Oh. The V reversal was the intention there for Metro M. He but pressed forward and had was the Buster Claw. Yeah, surely it was viewerful and not more fierce. Yeah. <laughs> and so funny though that a crush counter, I don't know what Hoji was doing, but it must have been slow or it must have been something with forward movement first. Yeah, Hoji, don't show your card. No explanation. Ooh, get scooped. Good. Oh, Alright. Caught him. Blows up the overhead and keeps him on the ground. That could have been airborne. Oh, oh was that a cross up? I don't even know, yes. but he keeps Oki. He gets the light conversion. A little bit scaled on the combo. Oh, oh, I was about to say, a little scaled, but that's why he went for command grab, and then the trade is all Hoji needs to tie it back up and restore some momentum and have a chance to breathe, yeah. because... Definitely he woke up with that three-frame standing like it was not trying to take any more press. Yeah. yeah, and it's also a three-frame stand leg kick when you're on match point. So go ahead and take the risk, because Hoji, you know, Hoji's playing yeah, for his life. Hoji to, to even try to make the comeback. Exactly. Just the, that's a low right there, by the way, on the EX uh, but Ruffian kick. It is a low, but it's not a safe low. It's it's quite negative, but but he, you know still. what? He, he's definitely reading something about Metro M. Doesn't doesn't really like like blocking his legs after blocking certain things. You know you know what though? Vega players do like walking away, of out course, because they don't yeah. want to get thrown, so they just kind of walk away. And I guess Hoji's mm -hmm. picked up on that. Yeah, it's what the character excels at most. Moving backwards, whether it's with the V-Skill, or just with backwards movement, walking back. I don't know how much you want to advance, though, with Metro M having full movement. Huge punish, great Oki here, and a punish against V-Skill as well. Hoji's really showing up now, but the back dash shows up. Is that a super and a kill? Not yet, but he gets Oki. Alright, he's gonna get a dash up here. You be careful. Oh! Still not in punish range, though. And the pipe is gone. Zonk Ooh. does it! And the chase down with the Zonk. Yeah. Zonk chase down. I mean, oh. fire and forget, right? Plus mm -hmm. on block, kill on hit, and... It makes you wonder at what moment was he committing holding down the button. <laughs> Probably while he was blocking that crouch medium pick, I, mean, I guess. A little extra effort in there. You know what though, like, um... I want to go back to, like, Vega's overhead, like... I've seen I've seen Hoji block maybe like two or three of them at max yeah. range and was not in position to punish at all. Even with a light punish, he press zap. I think he has to press the end medium punch next. Absolutely. Absolutely. Although and, 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 he yeah, might be too slow on stand medium. Oh, that's a great oh, way to great anti air. We saw him earlier checking the wall jumps, whether it's air to air or from a grounded position. Yep. You know, I did say fire and forget about EX Zonk earlier, but in the first game, Metro M took it by jumping over EX Zonk and then with punishing it on the other side, so... You are both are still acknowledging these other tools. Oh, that oh, one, uh, I can appreciate the them not giving away. up... Wow. I can appreciate them not being dissuaded from using their tools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the like, tools are here for a reason. I mean, yeah, they're strong. I'm sure they're gonna get blown up every now and again. Yeah, the one wall jump that hits is the one that puts him in that point. Listen, earlier we were talking about how these characters sometimes empty jump because they both yeah. know that each other have bad, heavy anti-airs. We just saw it right there from Metro. Got a small, light whip punish on Cody's heavy punch. Yep. Ooh. And, and I like what he's doing there because he, he obviously he's noticed that Hoji has been going for that, that standing fierce anti-air. But then he kind of made, made the wall dive cross up a little bit late. Just blow that up. That's a big back throw. Definitely a defensive throw tech that worked out big for Metro. Securing an even bigger life lead. Kind of got oh, a trigger and... activation lead too, and meter. Yep. yep. I mean, this is this is still well. set point for Metro. Yeah. 
When are you gonna throw the rock? He'll react with V trigger, yeah. so you can't. That's the thing. I mean, I was gonna say, even if he's, you know, why he got hit there though, because if he blocked that, then critical art was gonna kill him. Yeah, he was already in B trigger, so there was no reversal to avoid chip under any circumstance. So Metro I mean, played the clock there to perfection. And, and, and you know, Cody's one of those characters that does not have an, an actual reversal. Like, as, I mean, unless he picks V V skill one, which does doesn't even like it's not even that quick a startup. I'm not even sure he would be able to challenge that string with the the V skill. Yeah, but that was kind of a checkmate situation there. Yeah, just from the fact that Cody was stuck in V-Trigger and the resource advantages were so favoring Metro. And that's why Metro's yeah. moving on here, staying alive in Losers. I think qualifying for Losers Quarters. Mm. That would be it, right? Congrats to them, for sure. Who do we got coming up next? Let's take a look at this queue. That's incredible. Diego versus Marvisto in the same house. So where does Moons lie here? It's a land Watch party. <laughs> yeah. I, it's definitely a land party. I, I, yo, I haven't seen one of these since Halo 1. <coughs> we'd all bring Damn. our TVs and someone would bring a hub. And then we'd be in different rooms playing like 16 person capture the flag. <laughs> I love it. Yo, shout out to him. It's great. <laughs> Marvisto and Marvisto PC both Grandmaster, by the way. <laughs> he, he plays this game quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I wonder which of the accounts is slightly higher ranked then. Hmm. I'm sure he's putting in work on both. Um, I, also, who gets the PC set up? And if they're both on the same internet connection, how flawless is it going to be? Could there still be one sided rollback between the PC, PS4 crossplay on the same internet connection? It's definitely being put to the test, but what I would decide would be where the costumes are. Because <laughs> I'm just saying, there's some of those CPT exclusive <laughs> colors. Oh yeah. That like some seasons have, and then other seasons have on other consoles. Oh yeah. Like yeah, I think my we PS4 most of those. has the gold Chun Li. <laughs> the gold Chun Li. We definitely, we definitely banned the black and red colors. Hopefully, we're not seeing any of those. Oh yeah, I don't even like that one too. They brought back that color scheme in uh, in Super Street Fighter Four, I think it was. In one of the SF fours, they I think they had that color scheme. Oh yeah, remember when the characters looked cell shaded to the point yeah. of like invisibility? Yeah. Playing those online was hilarious. Always or hilarious like the pencil too. Pencil sketched ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this matchup's going to be hilarious too, because these players last time I think that Long Island played each other in Casa Bracket. It was Diego versus Moons and not Diego versus Marvel. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we all remember there were about 300 heavy Tatsus. And how many Cody V skills were there? Probably probably another 300. <laughs> oh, clean anti-air headbutt. Almost done. Wow, that, that, that down fierce is in the low. You ever get stunned by defensive throw tech so bad that you die in the air from the back throw afterwards? <laughs> he didn't even hit the ground. Not uh, yo, I was. Oh, well, one thing I got from that is that apparently Honda's down fear, so whatever that button is, is not low. Who knew? That's pretty fortunate for anyone that ever has to fight the character. So, well, the character's only low is crash medium pick then at range. And sweep, I guess. Oh yeah, sweep of course. Yeah, right. be really close to a stun here. Oh, but good throw. I, he has done so much V-Skill run, more than he's done against anyone else in the whole tournament, already against Marvisto. saw that earlier, yeah. using that EX headbutt as a godlike anti-air in both situations, but it does not deter Diego V from getting that jump and reversing the corner pressure, trying to win one for Team PS4. Team PS4 looking like PS4 right now. All over the screen was this Ken. He saved meter for so long in that round that Marvisto, just by blocking and playing, was able to build super meter, so there's not even a meter advantage anymore. I know. Are there, is there people cheering for console over PC in this? <laughs> I mean, Whatever team you're on. Room, like, within the same network condition. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
big armored EX headbutt there from Marvisto. Going for a fireball from so far away. That's really showing off Ken's recovery more than Marvisto's reaction. Guys, don't forget that we have interactive polls going on in chat if you want to take part of that. You know, with the range that that EX headbutt armored through the fireball, I think that's showing off Marvisto's reactions now. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, auto correct Auto-correct headbutt. <laughs> with the headbutt. What? Yeah. We all praise Diego B's crosscut DPs, but crosscut headbutt is the real shit. Marvisto knows this. Yep. Well, earlier with the Metro M, we saw crosscut buster. Crosscut buster club. <laughs> A regular DP is good too, it's what gave Diego V a chance to come up here. Out here you know? The world's on fire, just like Diego V's anti And just like his feet right now in this wind pose. That's Thunder Kick right there, be sure to react to that. <laughs> Especially when it's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> VT Thunder Kick, you know the combo's gonna hurt. He's gonna link that DP after into another heavy DP, light DP, heavy DP. He could probably super after, oh my god bro. When you take a Ken overhead into 500 damage, I hope oh. to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A lot of oh, Ken's trying to hit confirm the back medium punch. You didn't see it there from Diego. I know, I know. I, I, like, yeah, usually you can kind of hit confirm that, but um, mm -hmm. I'm guessing that he didn't actually think he was going to hit, hit in that situation. He, yeah. And he already was thinking of head, what he was going to do next. Oh, what a oh. jump in, but doesn't complete the Smash Buster second. Has to deal with Ooh. the happy little reset. Yo, Dude, Shin Buster him. second. The target combo name getting brought out right now. <laughs> We're that big of 10 fans? Oh, I'm a big Honda fan every time I see anti or EX headbutt. Securing the kill. I think Heavy Headbutt would have killed too, but putting the orange on the screen, showing us Honda's true colors in the wind pose, it looks cool. Yeah, just to make sure, you know? Yeah, yeah. And. Uh, tr Honda's true colors. This is definitely one of the ugliest colors for one of the ugliest costumes ever. Yeah, yeah. Marviso is really good at finding a new ugly color every week. You know, I feel like, like it's what? that shade of orange from Small Soldiers. I, I just like the bald head on the capo that's very clearly like the same tone as Honda's skin here. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little early on the command grab or out of range. Black. The point blank Ocho getting nada. Just a swipe left from the tongue. Barely alive on the left. Oh, he just casually just walks back in. Yeah, yeah, with determination. I, I'm, I'm impressed with that walk too because Marvisto has been doing a lot of stand light kick to check forward movement, and stand light kick can combo into headbutt on cancel, so you do have to be very careful. Yep. Short, be still low short. There's still like a counter hitting the forward movement and linking into itself while doing so. Mm -hmm. uh, pull the trigger. Yeah, he kind of pulled the trigger on that buffer, yeah, giving Marvisto still a chance to punish. Yeah. That's oh, a huge jump, jump in. in. Yeah, that, yeah, that was all. Nice. That's a really cool conversion from Ken, too. It's rare that you see the mid-screen, B-skill, step kick, and the super. It's nice to see it demonstrated here by Diego, who took full advantage of Marvisto. I think having an execution error, getting a heavy punch across the screen, probably wanted a yeah. headbutt under or something. Yeah, he definitely did not want to whiff that standing fierce. Yeah. He's been headbutting under a lot of jump-ins, too, even preemptively, and keeping at mid-screen by doing so. So I don't think he'll be yeah. deterred from doing that. It was just an error. Yeah, yeah, that definitely was an unfortunate error. But he, yeah, he won't be hurt by that. Do, He'll do keep on think, trying to go for that. Do you think they allow coaching in their happiness house? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, the only coaching that they, is getting yelled there is STD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, they suck that coaching. <laughs> I suck that one off. <laughs> STC. There we go. Challenge the That's, the, that's the only moral support that they get. Mm -hmm. And it's just... It is just Moon screaming at them. Maybe he's also giving them shots between rounds. If they let the wind poses rock, you know oh, that's man. what's happening. Yo, if you lose a round, you take a shot. If you win a round, you take a shot. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> both ways. And yet yeah. the cross cuts and PP anti-airs just get cleaner, but the hit confirms get dropped twice in a row now. Ken was just too high in the air, flying through the sky. Yeah, and it's a sad waste of meter, too. Like yeah. a fallen soldier ends. left at a party. Oh, nice. nice. Butt slam, got the juggle. Ooh, the slam's Ooh. cancel. Oh. Piano that. 
And and you know what though? It, it still would have stunned even if it didn't kill. Yeah, yeah. The bell got rang and the life ran out at the same time there on the same attack. Nice conversion to counter it down. Medium punch. Just, just kind of fishing with that down here, just trying to control space. That's a four frame light kick from Honda, right? I I want to say it's four frames, but I am I'll say I'm not sure. It is counter hitting everything after the blocked headbutts, and Diego's just running into it with every kind of normal. Mm, as EX headbutt, but the response to that neutral jump. Uh, this is a scary spot to be in. Oh yeah, but with one hit boost here for Honda, barely alive. What? Oh no, yeah. Oh, point blank activation. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be buttoned in to activate, but... Yeah, yeah, it was a missed input, because you did not want to do that at all. You didn't want to do that in previous seasons, they made it even worse. A lot of characters have great data on light button into activate, but I don't know actually the situation with Honda. Maybe Light Kick has good data. Possibly, I mean... I mean... Thank, okay. you. Thank you. Thank we you. have confirmation that Sam Light Kick is four frames. We have confirmation that even if Marviso is steering Honda backwards, Diego's still going to anti her with DP. <laughs> oh man, wow. just, just running in the face after there multiple we go. Checking weapons. in the right place. Good patience. Yeah, we'll check on that forward then. So much stun has been racked up this game just by stray normals. Man, he just needs one good conversion here to put one on the board. Yep. And now this is kind of scary for Diego because obviously he doesn't need charge what? to convert into B skill head, but oh, yield around and that game armor into super put the clapa claw on him. Now the PC Go. enthusiasts are coming alive. <laughs> yeah. Looking for like... Marvisto to tie it up. Oh, no. Meanwhile, Diego is gonna summon up all the strength from all the glowing different colors of the dual shocks surrounding him. <laughs> All the light bars glimmering. Maybe maybe the shining PS4 light bar is the glimmer of hope that See, Diego has. This should have been done when we had offline events. Like just have a venue where you got half PC, half PS4, and cross one. Because I mean just just check it out. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to run anyway, because it's on PC. But See, let's go for it. I, I think the PS4 players, which Diego is one of clearly, are battle hardened. They have fought through the thick and thin. They've been through the worst of it, so they're ready for the best. Oh, they've been um, with the pre-input lag patch. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, the yeah. eight frames. Look at this momentum from Marvista. Ooh. Just, yeah, just yeah. riding the momentum from that last win. Now, what I want to see from Marvista is more of that B skill, too. Because you can make those hands extra rewarding. That's true, but you know what? I, I don't think Diego is giving him the chance. Yeah, Diego's yeah, playing good. very close here. Definitely, it's you know, so typically against run. Honda you play a fireball game, but with Ken, I think you also acknowledge that your rush down game is what's actually going to win you this game here. Yeah, you know what though? Like, I feel like if you if you wanna if you play a fireball game against Honda, it needs to be a really good fireball game because I think Honda yeah. has some decent answers. I mean, I I agree with you guys because like in the way Marvisto is playing, he's going like pound for pound. They're both playing the same style. It's dash up and hit button. Oh, that's a smart reset to maybe get a kill. He's still oh, alive. No. Just a pixel left. Wow, what a tech. Oh. And then checks it with the low game. straw. Yeah, there wasn't going to be now? a tech Wait. on that second throw attempt. Uh, but Diego just didn't get close enough, so we're at two two now. Because as soon as Diego isn't wilding out with the beast, Marvisto immediately dashes up, low short, dashes up, low short. And they're both yeah. doing it, the same thing. Diego doing low short, V skill, low short. So it's interesting how they're both like, both in the similar style. Fight. Now, I feel like Marvisto might be playing to join the Long Island console that uh, only his <laughs> PS4 account is on. <laughs> Claiming that the PC deserves to join the council, I think they're both still Long Island residents. They're definitely in the same apartment. <laughs> Damn. Autocorrect headbutt again. <laughs> I love the way that works. Great challenge. Oh, there's sweet the crush sweet. Kind of. Yeah, wow, yeah. So we're hitting one of those heavy buttons. I see. So we didn't get any conversion off the step kick there, and the corner can can DP. He can DP you into the corner too. 
Wow. Sometimes, you know, having the corner pressure is everything. And you feel like you would just rather go out loose and you I respect that. Oh, the activation didn't get punished. Ah! Uh, I thought he blocked. I saw blocking and then I didn't. Yeah, that yeah. armor activates real quick, doesn't it? I, I don't know the exact data, but it was good enough for the heavy Tatsu to get full punish there. And V-Trigger heavy Tatsu from Ken's actually really hard to react to normally, because that is such a huge hitbox. Yeah, like, like obviously if you do it at a predictable range at full screen, you know, obviously you should get anti -air. Mm -hmm. But the way he did it there, it's... And I, I actually thought it made contact with Honda's body. Yeah. It's definitely easy, easier to anti it with one button armor just by tapping DT than to do any motion or normal or anything. That uh, armor, that was good use to get out of that corner, but it may not save him in this um, round. He's definitely looking to activate. He found a chance maybe on hit here. Sweep oh, knockdown. <laughs> While he wakes up with, yeah, with EXDP, did not want to take... Whatever mix up that was happening afterwards. You know what though? Marisa was about to have credit card. It would have been rough. Yeah, this is the last round. Guaranteed. The last game, last round. Marvisa strikes first blood. But equally bloody now is Marvisa going to the corner. It's getting bloodier. One hit stun situation. Finishes his play and his seconds. Oh, what an air to air. That's player knowledge right there. Oh, that was a. I think that was like a medium headbutt. Oh, oh EX got caught in the armor. startup. Yeah, oh, it, it's still in the startup. I was gonna say it's over, but he didn't go for the stun. Shocking. Shocking revelations. Oh, wow, Catches it on the other side. Back throw for Diego allows him to take it in one of the most brutal and fast final rounds of any tournament match we've seen today or ever in Casa. So many different ways that player knowledge was expressed i think the biggest one though was when marvisto forward jumped out of the corner to avoid diego's one hit stun situation mm. and actually called out diego going for empty jump instead of going for a strike throw mix we've seen that a lot from diego actually but i know marvisto seen it even more than me yep i mean they train together so you can definitely when you when you when you're playing somebody that you always train with you can definitely get the reads like that yeah and uh it Gave Marvisa a big second wind. The the match went on for another slobber knocker of a 20 seconds, but yet still Diego moves on. In uh, in terms of results, I think Marvisto has had better results overall in Casa. So uh, Diego has definitely earned it going into this. No collusion at all. Honestly, they played more honestly and less weird than I've ever seen Long Island play each other. So I was really happy to see that. Uh All right, so we're headed into winners' finals right now. Uh, Ryan F versus Arturo Sanchez, two players who may be actually streaming and restreaming this event. Hopefully, in the restream, you are getting our audio, so you can hear our plea for Macherino money. You can press <laughs> exclamation point Macherino in the chat to have a chance to donate your real money because we have already run out of free coupon codes. At one point, they were Casa SFI. 16, I think it was this week, maybe 15, but it doesn't matter anymore. This time you can do some quests though. Uh, sponsor quests, retweets. Chances are you'll be retweeting another great FGC cause anyway, because I know Chicago Tekken's in there on the Macharino. Be sure to show that some love. Of course, we also have our Teespring. I'm sure KO's showing it off. We got tons of merch there. I already have the uh, Casa Plain White Tee. I actually wore it today to give myself good luck going into the Grand Blue tournament, and it paid off with me getting third. Definitely doing the best I've ever done. I think the more I buy, maybe if I were drinking out of a Casa mug, I would have won the tournament at the same time. <laughs> That's got to be the move. And in addition, we've got Patreon here, the best way to support all of the staff that keep the Casa running smooth, looking clean and uh, keep the couch that has all of our commentators and all 66 of our current stream viewers in good uh, order, not too destroyed. Probably a new couch every week, not gonna lie, but that's because we have <laughs> Patreon money and we can afford it. So thanks to you all on the Patreon and whoever's considering it right now, thank you to you as well. 
And this is the Casa YouTube page. I'm nailing all these segues and I'm nailing that YouTube channel. I'm putting up those VODs along with our <laughs> lovely streamers, Dom and KO, every week. They're usually up by Saturday, sometimes Sunday, but we're shooting for Saturday about uploads. And uh, you'll see top eight pools. Everything will be time stamped with chapters. So you can go straight to whatever match you want to see. I know there's plenty of replays we're going to want to see from our sets today. So keep your eye on that and be sure to subscribe. All right, so we're going to be starting Winners Finals. Right now, it's going to be NYC Furby versus Brian F. Good on my end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, what's always been good on Brian's end is confident, cool, calm, collected play. That's the four Cs. I found a fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you're playing Arturo, I think you're up against a kind of similar mentality, right? Um, Arturo is a sim who will equally switch between sim styles for the matchup or based upon where on the screen he is. At mid screen, we hope to see the zoning game for sure. But in the corner, it is Arturo's turn to rush down, enact mix ups, and yep. make the game as cheap as possible, you know? And maybe yeah. maybe laugh at the opponent as they try pathetically to be Ursula. Give him a little. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, Brian F pushing our service to the corner, but great punish on that, that rush punch. I guess side switch. Nice air to air. Yeah. Pretty even on health so far. Yeah, yeah. You saw that little micro walk from Arturo. Oh my god, perfect spacing on the crush counter combo. I mean, yeah. it's a bread and butter at this point for the sim players, but it always looks cool to me. Oh, good check on that forward dash. Definitely still awake. Definitely looking young. Alright, yep. now he's a, pixel, he's a pixel away. This is a scary spot against sim. And Arturo goes for the, the max range light slide instead of the, the sniper. I feel with Brian F there though, because if you do block sniper, you know he has that punish on deck and he had B trigger too to make it hurt. And it's B skill, oh, definitely, B trigger definitely. one, I mean. Um, that I would definitely say, be a safe choice. Yeah, yeah. The choice that also allows you to win. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A, a short was the safe route. And and then max range slide would let Sim still be safe, you know? He'd be out of poke range. Probably still be his turn. I right, see a lot of Sims do max range slide and then go for the overhead right after anyway. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was all a trick. Ooh. Speaking of tricks, speaking of science, by the way, not that we've been talking about it, but delaying the wreckers there is what allowed Brian F to land a hit there. And Ooh, going right through v trigger activation. That camera angle looked so sick with that zoom <laughs> on the EX move. It was really setting the scene. I mean, it made it more anticlimactic. I mean... If there's anything close to a finest KO in Street Fighter V, that was it. Finest KO. <laughs> you see Brian up looking for the trade combo there, trying to be optimal, walking up for heavy kick. Couldn't Ooh, quite get the it. challenge. I like that challenge as well. I know, and, and like, Don't Gale is close. really plus. That was such a brave challenge. Good punish on that too. Still looking for medium punch the whole way down. It works eventually for Brian. But he didn't get a big punish on Teleport and isn't able to punish it very hard because Arturo went straight back into the V-Trigger. And, and you know what? Arturo didn't even take the risk of even, like, using a Gale to send it downward afterwards either. Oh, oh the oh, still got him in the dome. And it's weird because he wasn't even crouch blocking through the whole uh, I, I, I think sequence. He was stand blocking wrong. until he got dome. He might have tried to <laughs> press standing jab the challenge there to take his turn back. I didn't see a counter hit though, so it must have not been able to start up yet. Or maybe there was an acknowledgement that uh, low could have been a threat at the end of the Rekka, but instead oh, it was a what? nice delayed over. tried to jump. When does Sim jump though, you know? Maybe, maybe mean, he could have for sure. Jump teleport, I, mean, I guess? Yeah, jump teleport, jump Gale maybe. I don't know, Tiger Knee Gale. Jump Gale's are a great way to also punish throw, and a lot of rods like to do uh, V-Skill off dash straight into throw, too. Yep. Are we gonna activate that? Great view reversal, but it didn't really... It didn't really hurt much, but it kind of helps him get out of the corner, but it's not helping him in this situation. Yeah, that hurt a point. lot. 
That was a good chase down on the back dash. Yeah, Brian F is kind of OSing and autopiloting the best way to try to throw the opponent and also hit them if they do backdash and get away. He's not really yeah. reacting. He's just choosing to press it and a counter hit, of course. All right, good reversal. Just making it harder for Sim to actually challenge. Oh, look at this gray life just getting added yeah, on. That was five normals from Balrog. But if Arturo keeps the rush down up, they might have a chance to actually build the life back. But that's why Brian F is being adamant with these dash traits, making sure that no life is built. Ooh. Oh, great. Wasn't able to convert there. Brian's face is so good. Like, the way he knows exactly what the placement of his move, the exact tip of which he has. Arturo is saving the meter, actually. There was a chance to spend super earlier, but spending one bar works out much better for him. Yep, managed to get that round. Going into the, the final round of this game, the second game. One thing that's really great about Rog against Sim at this matchup is even regular dash punches are a problem because Sim's light punishes just don't exist. <laughs> I mean... so weak. Yeah, they're super weak. And plus, like, it requires bar, and they don't really hit at max range. Exactly. Yeah. So even if you do light kick, ex gale, or uh, you still will have the combo drop and be left punishable. By the way, at max range. Neg negative eight. <laughs> that was a change that was put into existence. I know. Because yeah. I, 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 to be honest with you, it, I didn't know I needed that that change. But you know, afterwards, I was like, yeah, I don't mind this. <laughs> I like getting free punishes because my opponent oh, went for a combo that is innately unstable. Oh, he got decked. Saw an yeah. opportunity where he could just take a step forward and get that low strong, get that conversion. And now he's one fight away from getting his way into the game. Yeah, Round and one. he... I think that long range power hit conversion is actually pretty rare for Rog to get, so it's great that Brian had it on deck. Stand medium uh, kick into Ooh. crouch medium punch. Yeah, he hit the low jab to bait the shimmy from the tick throw. That's I mean, what you're saying? Yeah, this is not looking very good at all. Oh no, it's good. He's about to really get close to Oh wow, just above the head there. Well, I would take that trade. I would keep going, Brian. Keep going with that low fear. Yeah, that's super minimal damage. Yeah, Shouldn't that be dissuaded at all. not discouraging. Round two. Especially yeah. Brian's really bulldogging forward on the ground and even in the air. Went for an overhead. That, that's the overhead you do when you're up two games and on match point. <laughs> yep. I mean, he was barely punished. He got hit with tap short. And then the follow-up cancel didn't even link. Yep, out of range. So who cares? Not at all. Did not bring the lighter fluid to the Barbie. Although, Arturo's slowly piecing this one together, getting put in the corner in the process. Hopefully he can teleport out. At least hopefully uh, for him. I mean, that Bureau of lands. All right, gets Tiger Knee V-Trigger. Gets, gets the throw away with it. Oh, the jump strong seals that round. Yeah, sorry, that what was did a really strong performance. Oh. What'd you say, Chris? Oh, no, sorry. No. Oh, it's all good. A lot, lot no, of things happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I Our was thoughts? mentioning that when he was able to get multiple jump-ins there without using regular, like, jumps. Mm. Oh. Yeah, early in the set, Arturo had some success with Crouch Medium Punch Antire, but he's going to have to find ah. some success in this mix right now, and instead he got ah. opened up. Are we going to see a, a reset rough situation. for the Oh, he goes straight for the damage. All right, have a really brave tech. You know what? He didn't have any more choices. It's do or yeah. die now. And, and Brian F was like, you know what, I'm just going to take the hit on that. Because I'm not going to let you activate the um, full orb. Oh my god, Arturo is so young right now. Linking off of it, choosing to keep it going on block instead of comboing. That makes sense, I feel it. He's adding some gray right. life. Ooh. Oh, and he sneaks in the forward dash after the plus one. That is the only full dash that we really saw from Brian F and it's the one he needed to take this set 3-0. It was close though. Arturo put on a show. I think he took two or maybe three rounds even. Uh, but... but I've never seen that many V reversals from Boxer. 
ever. He did at least six in, in a round. Jeez. Yeah, they added up. They really did. Maybe maybe that's the choice for Brian F picking uh I think trigger it's because I think it's because of Dalzim's damage out that he was just okay with it. Yeah, I can feel that. I can feel that. And having VT1 as a three-bar trigger, I mean, you use it against him to do huge damage anyway. It's great against low-life characters. It's great for buffing what was already amazing. Your forward rushing low or your just dash punch. Mm. Um, but you also have so many reversals able to stack up with the three-bar trigger. I feel like half the life was gray life in that last round. Yeah, definitely. You know what though, like, yeah, Brian F was really shot, making yeah. great use of his V reversals. Like, anytime Sim would try to try to get chip damage or hit a heavy or normal, he was already ready to, to V reversal, add on that gray life, press his advantage towards the corner, you know? He was just getting, yeah. he was just getting his damages completely in a different way. And he goes, yeah. dude, this is how I'm going to get my damage, so I'm just going to use this V gauge to completely get you out of the conversation. Because yeah. towards the end, when Arturo was getting conversions, we would see the, the damage was just not there. I mean, it was like yeah. basically like giving up a throw. Yeah, know. Balrog was having a totally different conversation, both in gameplay and in character. You hear Balrog screaming, get off me, as he's overheading you, as he's putting <laughs> himself on you. Meanwhile, Sim is all peaceful, right? He's, putting, he's communicating with hand gestures when he kills you with a jump medium punch or an overhead. He's just... <laughs> Gently saying yoga, you know, totally different speeds <laughs> for totally different character styles, and uh, absolutely word. But also screaming proved how, dominant there. You could see how <laughs> some people stay composed when getting hit with Dalzim's limbs. Like Dalzim's limbs often like immediately triggers like the people to change up their behavior. But some people just stick to the script and they understand <clears throat> how it works. And they just like as as you mentioned earlier, listen, just just bulldogging their way on in. Yeah, I mean, just understand that you know what I'm gonna take damage. I just keep, gotta keep on pressing on. August twenty eighth, oh, no problem, man. I got you. Two blondes going at it in Street Fighter Five, just like they did five years ago, <laughs> four and a half <laughs> years ago, around the time the game released. Vanilla Blondes. <laughs> I, I love the way this game shows you the date now, by the way. It gives me Round such an existential one. crisis. <laughs> Damn, I've been watching the matchup for five years. Nice. Hmm. Wow, that was funny. A really light punish, but good knowledge. And it's a punish that could turn into a lot more when Diego B has meter to do EX Tatsu off play kick, too. Yeah, and there oh, we definitely. go. Punish on that new move, too. A lot of people in CFN letting that, that thing go unchecked. Oh, yeah, definitely. It is, um, It'll... I want to say it's like negative, I know that the EX one is negative 14, mm -hmm. but, um, but the regular one, it's, it's, it's definitely more negative than that. I think, um, cause I know Sagat gets like forward round off, so that's 16 frames, so it's at least more negative than 16 frames. It's actually a great punish for Sagat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. You have the sand block to get it though. Oh, okay. So a lot of people, they miss punishes against that move because, um, they don't stand block it because um it has added pushback when you cross block. Yeah, it gets to hit way deeper and push mm -hmm. back further. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, even though we're seeing the punishes early in the set, I still think Metro will try to use it to secure a stun later on as the set continues. I mean, it's it's definitely one of his plays in there and case in point. Didn't use it for a stun, he just did it for damage. Looks like he used it to put himself in the corner only because Diego DP'd right after. <laughs> But Vega's really good at manipulating the position. Switch yeah. sides again, and so we see another DP from Diego. Mm -hmm. All right, back in the corner. Respects the uh, the EX wall dive. It does drop a lot faster than the regular ones. You just don't. You just want to minimize risk entirely. Exactly. I think that's a kill. Wait, not yet. No. No mind. Well, with the sweep that leaves behind a pixel, goes for the tick throw, walks out of it. Oh, EX fireball. Oh my god, it's down to lights. That's a punish oh, for sure. punishable. Very punishable. Yep. The low lime green, low forward. And and that one was much more negative because he, he came off the wall high. Yeah, do you think Metro meant to do that? It wasn't even he, the cross-up version. 
I think he meant to do it because um it goes over fireballs. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. And he just got in the face with like three fireballs. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. Round one. Fight. I mean, it's funny seeing Kenway. Yeah, Diego always plays retro. I've never seen a play Street Fighter Five play. I mean, green mm -hmm. is like it's after the old, I think. You know, nope. Another thing nope. that Diego represents is the neutral jump on offense. Looking for the online mix-up, the full jump-in combo, and you know that's yeah. fireworks. I like it. That's big rewards for big plays. I mean, and he hasn't gotten anti-aired yet. Nah, and I mean, I doubt he would get anti-aired at that angle, especially with Ken's jumping. That fierce aims really yeah. low down. Yeah, Ken's eight-foot-long arm and Vega's slow anti-airs. No chance. No chance of getting up there. Yeah, when he does a deep jump in, like, his hand is, like, eight feet into the ground, like... <laughs> yeah, you can see it going all the way through. It's crazy. Just clipping through the, the, the grid. That's why earlier we saw Diego do deep jump in into V-skill run, because it is that clear how deep and how plus on block the jumping is. This yeah, is going to hurt so bad. Neutral jump punish, yeah. Ooh, does oh, it... didn't get anything though. I mean, that doesn't really do much. I mean, right, it's going to hurt so bad. Oh, he wants to do it again. No! Oh. No, not happening, no. <laughs> What's it drop? And Diego gave him another chance to block and punish a DP, but that one hit, and so Diego's going to get comeback started now. Look at the corner carry. Look at the deep jump in. Yep. Throw OP is pretty good here for Ken, too. It seems like Diego is just doing everything he can to just try to tilt. Metro M. Yeah. You know, one you thing can... that really tilts me is cross up, jump into the corner in the back throw. All players do it, and Metro somehow just got hit by it, just like the rest of us. Yeah. Ooh, anti air. Really on point with his anti air options. Yeah, that's a big difference between the two players and the two characters. Consistency and ability to anti air. Good patience. He just follows up that uh, that V skill that uh, sorry wall dive bait. It looked like Metro M wanted to bait something by doing the the short distance wall dive, but then closing the distance with V skill to create that corner carry. Yeah, that's a long term solution, right? You don't have to try and mess with what's immediately in front of you. Just set up good offense for later. That's what Diego did. Mm -hmm. All right, Diego jumps into the corner. Oh no, I'm not really sure what he tried to do there. He probably messed up something. Messed right. up going for throw, and so the throw tech gives Metro a chance to make a comeback here. Oh! That, oh my oh, god! Yes, punishing what? the Vera Russell? Are you serious? You get Oki here too. This is a problem. But Ken has Vera Russell. So he's got trigger. He's got TP. What happens? Oh, wakes up back dash. None of those. So respectful, right? Yep. And there's the activator. Oh. Punishable. Yeah, it is punishable. Very Three punishable. Likes and the conversion, and that's what she wrote to go one one. It was one, one. so punishable that he got three jabs. And that's man, that super all three jabs through the to make the roll kill. Yo, but that and, super and, through the V reversal. And then he had, then he had V trigger at the end too, if he wanted it. Yeah. It... Round one. Oh. <laughs> hundred percent. I'm yeah, sure he did. I feel it. I mean, I feel like it's not the most reliable thing. I don't know if he wanted heavy kick in the first place. It was such a close heavy kick too. I mean. That's not the first time I've seen him do it, though. That close yeah, range damage. To, to, to be honest with you, like, again. to be honest with you, if he was going for a shimmy that close, a classic Ken move would be shimmy with standing fierce. Yeah, yeah, that's what but I would have expected too. Corner back dash again. With all that help. Yeah, corner back dash. Mm -hmm. All right, but Metro kind of riding the momentum of that that comeback from behind victory. And this is Diego's chance to get some momentum started. Does so with back throw. Mm, Maybe going to try. Correct. Yeah, I would have I was calling back throw there and then the back throw came on the second try too. Mm -hmm. oh. oh no, it was the air reset and that screws That's only oh, and into it goes Jeff the ground reset. Play. So American. That was too American. I mean, yeah, that too, especially so much with the last movies. overhead. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, I just heard the national anthem when that second yeah, I heard, heard it. I'm a real American. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just saw Bob Ross being saying they're all happy little recess. I feel like the stun combo wouldn't have been that scaled anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm telling you, he's playing like an asshole. He's trying to tilt him <laughs> on purpose.
That is, must be the way to go. I mean... I mean, that's what you do. Oh, and the oh, whole trigger yeah. gone now because of the V-Rule. It's the Ooh. second time that the V-Trigger has utterly failed, whether due to air reset or V-Reversal hitting it needed on startup. Oh, he's just jumping, forcing Metro to look for, for much different options to deal with the jump. Oh, oh what a juggle! Gets that activation. He goes and or gets the overhead, the but causes a knockdown. Tries to go for a double dip, though. Yep, and yeah, that Diego walking right out of her range. Didn't DP off the step kick, though, so still needs one more touch. Oh, oh. and it was DP! And that was a jab DP, is throw invincible. Yeah, yeah, the, the actually absolute best choice to go through the command grab that was attempted there for Metro. Mm -hmm. I mean, EX is and, a good choice, too. Full invincible and, if you have it. I mean, I would bet money that Metro's control pad is on the other end of his room right now. He's got to go pick it up, though, because this set's not over. Oh, <laughs> definitely, definitely picked it up real fast. Reassemble the trigger buttons, click them back in place, and get ready to press them. <laughs> Just make sure you desync it from whatever other top of it. Why do I know that the trigger buttons are what pop up first when you throw a controller? <laughs> <laughs> Personal experience, I would imagine. Actually, no. <laughs> it was at a tournament where someone else did it. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. First hand experience. Yeah, that's it. Oh, where are you going? Reversaling out of the corner. Hey, there is the neutral jump mix up finally paying off. Ken showing off his wingspan with the jump fierce and the damage on the combo that follows. Not even having a full meter to kill. Making he this was fishing on it like it, he was terrible. fishing on that like an Animal Crossing event. <laughs> Ooh, anti-air fireballs. I, I love that one. When a Shoto player anti-airs or fireballs, you know they're good. Yeah, and that means they're mixing up their speeds really well, too. You see heavy fireball right there, right before that was a light. Yeah, that, that's a skill that 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 regular Shoto players don't have. Oh, that's a good punishment. That's a mix-up away from a stun. Shoot your shot, King. At this point, he can kill in one hit either way. Mm. There and, it is. And he just seals it with the knees. I, I feel like the tilting strategy is exactly what Diego employed all the way there to victory. 3-1 over Metro M. And I mm -hmm. think that is also a run back of last week's results. Diego was eliminated by Metro M in Losers Finals, I think it was. I'm not sure, though. I mean, it seemed like he thought about it or, you know, he thought less about it as he went into that match. He's like, you know what? I might just turn my brain off a little bit. Let's see how he deals with this. Turn your hands and execution on turn your acting and doing to the max and turn the hesitating and thinking those two things are always related off mm. yep <laughs> speaking of doing i have to go take a bathroom break that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> enjoy uh the conjecture as to what will happen next i'm excited to walk in on the match no waiting needed yeah so this is gonna be diego v versus arturo sanchez Okay. Oh, did Diego leave the room? He did leave the room. Yeah, this is the loser's final. And I respect him leaving the room. I just, I oh, gotta that, get all oh, this that is loser's finals now, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. who knows what's on that claw? You know, you gotta go in the back and wash your hands maybe for a little more than yeah, 20 man, seconds. You, you, know? you have to wash your this hands. This is loser's final. You have to wash your hands, though. The winner will face off against Brian F, and good luck to them going for the reset. Uh, mm. I put myself on the console. I'm uh, I mean, lucky business handling that. Uh, definitely going to be a rough match for Arturo Sanchez. He's going to have to deal with with this monster, Diego V. Yep. I just want to remind These everyone. These two no strangers to each other, though. Yeah, there's it's an experienced matchup between both. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, both both of them. And the same characters too that extend yeah, beyond different games. Exactly. Both of them masters of their characters. For sure. It's like the, very, they, very they, aware of what they need to do. They are very much like they will stop playing Street Fighter, that Street Fighter, rather than stop playing that character. Hmm. You know, like they say that about like players like Nuki. You know, well, Nuki will give up Street Fighter Five before giving up Chun Li. And real quick, guys, before <laughs> that was always this, uh... to be said in the Discord. Before this loser final start, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Matcherino uh, to help uh, give something back to the players. 
Uh, shout outs to Matt Chirino for hooking it up. Shout outs to the, the CASA staff once again for providing this avenue um, for this uh, and providing this for the players. Um, tomorrow is CPT East um, online. So I know a lot of these players wanted that, uh, that practice and I'm uh, very happy that they decided to come to CASA this week to, to get it in. So shout outs to all you guys. And once again, shout outs to the commentators for holding it down and being the absolute best the online Street Fighter community has to offer. Commentators, take it away. Mm. Yay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, this was a great tournament, man. Some great talent showed up tonight. We could see high level of competition <laughs> and, you know, not just cerebral play, but anti cerebral play. <laughs> you know, knowing how to turn the brain off. And then you bring that murderous intent that is like deep within the psyche, similar to like the cell or something, you know? I mean, you could. Well, I mean, I know I said that, yeah. He, like, he turned his brain off. But then at the same time, though, what he was doing, he was just attacking Vega's weaknesses. And that's a strategy in itself. Like, can Vega deal with jumps that close? Not really. Right? You'd have to focus on the jump instead of focusing on the dash. And Ken brings a lot of things to the table from that close. You know, he brings his forward dashes, which is 15 frames, tied with two other characters for the fastest dash in the game, with Chung Li and Rashid, right? At 15 yeah. frames. He also has button into run, right? And, and, then, and then also Diego does mix in close range fireballs. And, I mean, Diego was V-skilling everything. Round one. everything. Every single normal, everything. stand short, low short, low forward, um, stand fierce even. Everything was just, and, it was like look. Yeah, exactly. And then he was jumping for cross-ups. And the, and the thing is, though, he still wasn't even, there was still tools that he didn't bring out. He didn't bring out EX Tatsu in the air. Right. He didn't bring out, like, the regular Tatsu just to, to mess with jump angles, right? So there were still things he could have done to make that matchup even more annoying, unenjoyable, confusing. I was about to oh, draw attention to the to get the yeah. float. Yeah. Yep. Especially when you can, there's certain moves that uh, specifically can stuff up. Uh, Dalzin's B skill one. One thing I like to mm. do with uh, Chun Li is a stand roundhouse uh, gets her a guaranteed crush count if you can hit Dalzin into B skill one. Look at Diego still trying to contest the plasma one layer at a time. It's it's kind of hopeless against VT from Dalson. Saban is absolutely the aggressor. Oh, but he's in, in now. But he's in the corner. All that work. Wait. Yeah, no, everything hmm. can change. That was right. almost a full jump in. Ooh, and it's the slide. really brave medium slide. I wonder I wonder if that was punishable or not. If he had survived, I, I wonder if he could have gotten like jabbed easy. Yeah, I, I think he might have been able to. Diego Ooh. was forward dashing. Great chase. Oh, found him again. Real close when to his stun now. And that traded with standing jab. Yeah, not even the three frame anti air from Sim will help him against that tall jump in from Ken. I know it's it's one frame of one active frame, not enough to save. It's that <laughs> one jump in. Quick over. Yeah. Oh, it's getting a little laggy. Must wonder if, if, if Marv is in the background downloading porn. Mm. <laughs> is that the strategy? <laughs> that might be the strat. If instead of chanting <laughs> STD now, they're looking up videos of it? <laughs> Just to throttle our hero? <laughs> giving him visual examples of, how, <laughs> of, of what will lead him to victory. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put the copy pasta in the chat for anyone that's not versed. Because at this point, <laughs> this is belligerent. <laughs> I mean, we have to educate the people. <laughs> yeah. First. And it looks like Arturo actually was educating Diego there on how to, uh, I don't know, die Arturo from a mix-up at full screen. He's throwing out the extended. stop signs. <laughs> yeah. Every single second of this round, Arturo is in full extension. I mean, I feel like also if you're going to try and mess with Arturo's... <laughs> Yeah, full extension. <laughs> Pun intended, yeah. yeah. So, so, so maybe the porn back there is having an opposite. It's not helping. <laughs> also, Arturo's on the streamer internet uh, life. I mean, it seems like Arturo's lead is growing. Yeah, definitely. So, maybe the, maybe the internet connection strategy is being stopped now. 
Long Island has resumed the chant instead, but I mean, looks like nothing's really changed here. Diego's getting mixed at mid screen by Sim and punished. And stunned. Oh, Sim is stunned. not that stunned. Sim is doing yeah. jumping combos. Yeah, he is sending them a message. <laughs> who, who, it's like who, who, it's like if he crashed their oh. It's like if he crashed their plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> right at their address. Right right into the Long Island house. Yeah. The Marvito, <laughs> That's the what Marvito people house. do. That's the flex. They find right, your so... address and they, they fly into it. Social team, listen to me. Find the Casa house, make an address for it, and have Microsoft Flight Simulator crash into it. Because that's what it feels like every single time I see Diego play and start doing all, all these try DP attempts through the fireballs. I mean, that crashed and burned real bad right there. Mm. A little bit off with that jump EX Tatsu. I was talking about him not using that tool, finally bringing it out for this matchup. Yeah, on hit, it's really rewarding. I'm blocked, you know, you get to stay safe and Man, either way, altering your jumping timing is good. I mean, I depending on how, it, hit, how it's blocked, it might be unsafe. Right, right. I love it, the way that Arturo is using that yoga sniper as a ground projectile. He's just saying, oh, like, yeah. you, you, you shall not pass. Yeah, like, I feel like it takes the place of, um, of Dawson's old ground fire. <laughs> oh, mm, crash hey, and You know, turn. yeah, I would agree with you. I would completely agree with Dawson. you on that. Win. Oh, you you know an interesting thing about um jump jab yoga snipers, right? Uh, I mean, B skill yoga snipers, they're mm -hmm. actually negative on hit. And yeah. um, yeah. if you have like a three frame reversal or even like a, a four frame jab, right? You can actually get hit by it, and Round and one. DP. What can can huh. can can actually be half screen? Get hit by the jump jab on the way down, and DP, you get a DP that it's wonderful. Damn. I, it, yeah. I guess it takes a lot of presence of mind, though. So you yeah, want to... it, it, it is reversal timing. It is yeah. reversal timing. But um, but 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 it's it's definitely part of the mat matchup. You need to be able to do that because it mm -hmm. takes away such a strong tool. Because can yeah. you imagine every single time Dalsim comes down with jab, you're doing a reversal jab DP, no matter how far you are, as long as it touches your body, you can get it. Oh, that was a point flank medium kick that went unpunished. I don't think Diego was ready for it. I don't think Arturo meant for it. Probably wanted back medium kick. Uh, but looks like Diego's ready to make the most of out, this, out of this opportunity, which got squandered by that heavy kick there from Arturo, putting himself on match point to go to grand finals with a huge confidence boost if this is a 3 0 over Diego. Yeah, he's yep. 99 seconds away from getting that run back with Brian F. Ooh. Oh, almost had it fully baited. I know you. He was definitely waiting for a good punish opportunity. Now, opening the door for Diego. He oh, overhit the There's overhead. a back rise. Still not being dissuaded. Walking into everything until he finally gets the opportunity. I'm sure still fighting back, though. Yeah, Diego tried EXDP that time, and it's still not working. Oh my God. No trade combo there either, so that's going to be the kill. Yeah, it just comes out looking like a square peg and coming out of a... <laughs> There's some people that say if you believe and if you mash hard enough, the results will just work out for you. And I think Diego followed that ideology to a T, I mean, mashing DP through every single VT, but it just literally never worked. It did not work. And if you look at the numbers, that's a 3-0. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is a 3-0. And uh, it was firm, I think. I uh, almost feel for Diego for not getting to play as long as he normally does. Yeah, I mean, some rounds were definitely going towards Diego's favor for a, for a bit. But, like, Arturo, so composed, such a strong right. player, he able to regain ups. control. Like, in the same way he could go a little bit of time, the opponent just is not playing any Street Fighter Five for just a few seconds. Mm. Arturo was more than able to, like, get himself out of that situation, bail himself back, and just keep extending, just keep extending. It was like he was just mm -hmm. ha having a tax. Like, he was just taxing on that life. <laughs> I wonder what Arturo was saying, because I, I know he's streaming this as well, right? <laughs> I bet you he's like, oh, he's just wilding out. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 But again, the question is, now we're going to the Grand Finals. Um, my question is, how many viewers are we going to see Brian F? 
You know what? That was actually a cornerstone of his plan going in to the first set that they played. You know, if I block a Yoga Flame, I don't care if it's the plus three, um, the plus unblock one or the the slightly negative one. I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack on Gray Health. I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna start adding on more Gray Health. So if I land a random hit, my reward is gonna be so much greater. Exactly. You're just doing dash straights with house money. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. Like yo, I'm already up in life right now. And then yeah, yeah that was basically the strategy. It wasn't really about. V trigger comeback or V trigger oppression. It's more like, yo, I'm just gonna whittle him down. I'm gonna use his exactly. own tools against him. Exactly. You never saw robbery coming in a conversation. Brian didn't <laughs> need it in any round. Yeah, yeah. At like, all. Like, it wasn't the most optimal tool one. in his arsenal. No, no. It, it. In fact, he was so comfortable with that plan, and it seems like he's very comfortable. He's already in the corner. Already got that low mix up right there. Yeah, he got himself a stun. Doesn't have enough food to do much significant. And, and he's not even going for extra mix-ups, he's just like taking the damage. Just playing the game plan, following the script. But Turbo on the other hand, trying to fight against Faith, it seems. But Brian F, ever the scientist, just following the plan. He already has the formula. Yeah, you see, Brian F already has the scalpel out. He <laughs> is ready to conduct surgery against Sim here, finding the one spot where EX Ash Rate will blow through. I mean, I feel like there's a couple of spots you can make that work, actually. It's a very sharp scalpel, that move. <laughs> I know, just, it's just, just threading the needle. Doing... Arturo's cutting... got some of the best neutral in the EX Ash Rate, yeah. but it's, it's not helping him in this match. You know what, though? Arturo to... did make a slight different adjustment. He picked B-Skill 2 this time. Oh, he did? Oh, I love that one. Yeah, B skill two is great if your opponent's running a like he needs to be in a situation like where he can set it up where he's and I, I mean, I, mean, I, I even, will say that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Finish what you were saying. Well, um, well, Brian's going with B skill one. The one is going to continue to keep him moving forward. So to establish yeah. that fireball game as well, he's only going to be relying on uh, Dalton's only going to rely on B trigger two finals. Yes. Yeah, I, I, cause I feel like, like Arturo definitely tried the yoga float, um, strategy and it did not work out in his favor at all. No, so, it didn't. So, and even when like, it did, it didn't seem to do it in a big way. Like, yeah, I, I think that's the issue. Yeah. It was all risk and little reward. Yep. Mm, and, and then Brian, speaking about that, Brian F took a slight risk with, um, risk with a jump in. And got rewarded with a crush counter standing round out afterwards. Look at the low profile on that sim sweep. Yep. Saving saving Arturo's ass there. Getting him out of the corner now with the teleport off the sequence mm. that it created. Ooh, so where are you going? Stuffing the beast still spin. Going nowhere, but Brian F using that V reversal to stop mm. playing neutral. Just remove oh. neutral from this matchup from this game whatsoever. Ooh. Good that... stuff with the dash up throw. And that, mm -hmm. that throw killed because of the oh, previous wow. V-reversal on that standing around us. A tool that, you know what, Dawson players are very comfortable using. Because yeah. at that range, yeah. like, what is the punishment? But but as you see, the punishment is tacking on Grey Health. And yeah, I have totally. to say, looking at Saban's style, like, he's Round still one. playing very comfortably. Fight. A lot of his moves are landing. A lot of his stuff is converting. He's not giving up much. But what he's giving up, like, it it adds up. Yep. I mean, look at that, Brian F. And I would say that probably Balrog is one of the worst characters to try to use yeah. one of those charge up the um, skills. Because yeah. I, I believe they're about 50 frames to charge up. If it's Most of them are similar to Sagat. So Sagat is 50 frames, right? I think I think only G has a different one. His is 45 mm. when he's in, um, in B skill 2. Yeah, so that was Save literally the, the first attempt at a V skill from Arturo, and it yeah. instantly got dash punched. Like exactly, like 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 Balrog is not a good character to use those V skills against. He's very well equipped to stopping them. Okay, but you found so a he's safe activated there. V skill too here. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. You have to you have to get specific knockdowns, or even put out an EX fireball or something like that to get the situation. You have to you have to spend bar. 
get it. Yeah, and against Balrog, you can't actually use the EX Fireball Shield as well either, because he's going to do dash rate into V skill and go through it and punish him. Okay. Yep. Ooh, and that was a good punish. N noticing that the down round off wasn't fully punishable by every by a hard attack, get to go for the down um, medium punch. Punish. This time though, Arturo was able to block after the heavy kick got V reversal, mm. but wasn't able to block in the air. No one is. Brian F has known this for a long time and has been oh, doing oh, uppercut yeah. from so far to get rewarding anti-airs for like four years now. It was one of yep. the first rocks I saw doing. Man, you just and... don't see it coming. It's like if Dudley in SF3 or SF4 had a, something that was pun that he could punish with Thunderbolt. It's just you don't see it, but it works. It's fully there. Get that Gale on out of here. It's this kind of season. No room for the monsoon. Now is Saban going to be switching character? He's got. He a might be switching to switching to Falk. Yeah. He um, tried for different skills. Because we didn't see any V skill too. Switch, I mean, though. he didn't have. Uh, he he just didn't get the space. Like Brian F was yeah. constantly moving forward, and if he wasn't moving forward with dash straights, he could do it also with the V skill. And there was I, just no way I to think... get in position. For... Hmm. Because the ideal place for the V skill two fireball is when it's behind you, bouncing up to you. It's yep. forcing you to come closer to the sim. Yeah, I I think that V skill two. Didn't, yeah, like you said, didn't play any part. But I also think that V-Skill on um, V-Trigger 2 is not helping. Yeah, yeah he's not so getting anything on V-Trigger. Mm. I, I, I mean, you know what, though? He played the first set, lost. Played the set and loses in, in the Grand Finals. Went down two games. And n not for nothing, like, Brian F. was in control Round most one. of those rounds. Fight. So, y you know what? May as well try your last replay. No, well, he switches to Falk. Yeah, it's and locked in too. Still fighting from the corner. It's been a pretty common theme. Arturo over here at the right corner early in the rounds. But he's fought his way back now. Mm. Alright, but this time though, he has a character with, oh, with to go different the tools. Has, has a DP. Comes into play right there. Yep. There goes out those beer. As long as I can stay in your the B skill through the air fireball doesn't matter the trajectory that throw makes it a very dangerous. And, and Brian Brian not, neutral. Yeah, Brian F not being dissuaded by those DPs. Not enough damage, he says. Yes, I think once again the Grey Life is going to be doing more damage than DPs in this set. Oh, that was a, a good um, yeah, you're definitely, angle change. You're seeing that. Mm -hmm. That was a good play by Arturo to get out of the corner, but unfortunately it didn't lead to very much. Yeah, and Brian has his own tournament And actually checking the forward dash on that DX straight, if you remember correctly, that's how he lost the first set in the winner's side. That's it. I remember now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great jump, jump by Saban. All right. Hmm, that's negative four. No punish, though. So much shit from these shots here. Always charges, Arturo. All right, but Brian, up. He's going to have the opportunity to activate trigger. Good anti-air. So the way Bower player is always ready to anti-air. Trigger plus corner is a powerful combo for Rog, but he's not going to get to do it yet. Still has to build some more bar after the reversal. Hmm. Taking taking a page out of Brian F's book by attacking on some gray health. Have those safe rush pound punches. Arturo saving his meter. Doesn't want to confirm this super. He knows he needs it to stay alive in this tournament. Chip is still an option though. Once the trigger oh, is activated, oh, now Arturo has a way to win. Point. Oh. Rog has to dodge this. He has to dodge the super. Will it come? Oh, oh it's a match that actually works. And oh, you know what it is? Like, usually that delay blows up mashing. Yeah, I guess it was delayed and, a little too long that time. And, and that was a super risky play that uh, that he went for. He went for the, I, I think I can win with this play. Match point in sight. Brian is digging with those death straights. Going low on that one. Good block by Arturo. 
Oh, but that place or that low strong. Yeah, that's often you see those things where someone blocks in that conversation. Brian takes a little bit of a micro off that into that low strong. Oh, could have got more off that jump that escapes the corner. Well, once she jumps uh, Pogo's off of you, she's not actually able to combo. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Oh, that air reset just created that extra. I'm not going to be dead yet, up. but you know, maybe one, one more mix-up. You can take a throw. That's it, though. The Grey Life probably would have made a kill. Yeah. Oh, okay. <gasps> Did that activate trigger? Oh, that He's was still awesome. looking for the right moment, I guess. Maybe you're going to save the screen freeze for reactions? Never mind. Oh, yeah. Alright. It basically is a one-hit game for them both. Yeah. Bulk has lots of ways to confirm into super. Especially with trigger. Brian's, Brian's a oh. Got a bit to go before getting some meter. Getting a little Brian. bit of cash so it's better than pain. Yeah, Brian being a little more pensive. More careful. Oh. oh! Stand! Medium kick from Raw. Counter hits Arturo trying oh, to press crouch. Medium please. punch. Trying to keep the opponent at bay, but Raw yep. had already walked in. And that's Brian F. Walking through the doors with the Casa, a gold medal mm -hmm. around his neck. He played it's it. To match his gold outfit. Yeah, Dennis Rogman in the gold, too. Looking good, Brian. Oh, and uh, we got Brian F. represented now in our overlay, too. The champion yeah. has earned yeah, his yeah, spot. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. That's my guy. You know, Art's my guy, too, but Brian's my guy. Like, he's been my guy since. 2012 or some shit like that. We go way back. I mean, yeah. Orda too, yeah. Fe yeah. Fellow Balrog players. Yeah, That's true. Balrog players. He he tried to. He didn't want to play the mirror against me in one tournament and, and pick Gen. And I beat his Gen. I was like, and I looked at him. I was like, dude, pick Balrog. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then and what he, happened? And he reversed two owed me instantly. <laughs> I was like, damn. Pick Balrog. That's my. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> he followed that advice an, today. He never had to spoil off our idiot. <laughs> See, but you you stared him down mid set. You know, if, imagine yeah, yeah. you had done that after the set and taken the W. Uh, I I I coached him. I coached him to send me into oblivion. That was fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> now now he coaches himself <laughs> to win my tournament. He sits Good in perfect shit. posture in his gamer chair, rocking the stream, giving them the best show they could have had tonight. As yeah, many we're... matches in winners as possible. I Let's mean... step back low strong, it's a wrap. Yep. That's such a good yeah. this is such a good win though, going into the CPC tomorrow. Yeah. That's yeah. good momentum. Yeah, and, and I I think honestly this was a this was a good run for uh for art too. Like Mm. Um, even though we didn't see much of, of Falk tonight, it was definitely um, it, it was definitely good to see that like later on it, it was still sharp. So like hopefully tomorrow he can kind of lean on Falk more. But I know I know his heart is his his brain is is Falk. His heart is Dawson, and yeah. I, I can't fault the man that that follows his heart. Um, but shout outs to those guys. This this was their debut and they got first and second. That was awesome. Shout outs to Diego getting third. Um sh yo, shout shout outs to, to all the all the power ups that, that that came through. Especially on the on the match arena. We raised like $170 or something like that. Um and then um yeah, all the people that followed uh Dom and KO today. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you, Don Mikeo, for streaming. Thank you to all the all the commentators. Um, super dope. The um the Wonder Twins, of course, holding it down. And um, I think that's everybody. Ryan F. Yo. <laughs> what the? F am I? Am oh, I oh yeah. Car? Yeah, Brian. Well, hi. Yo, I was told there was a call I needed to hop into. Hi, Brian. Hold on, I'm putting on my headphones. Hello, so I can't hear you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> shit, we have we have a winner right here. All right, good oh, shit. shit. Yo, All right. for, uh, congrats on winning your debut at Casa. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel? Thanks for hosting. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. It's a good okay. time. Good tournament. Um, free to enter. So 
I think it's good practice right before CPT online. I got kind of smoked at NLBC this week, so I didn't get my reps in. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to hop on in and support the cause and have a, a good tournament run. So I'm happy he was on a W. That's, yeah. that's good motivation for tomorrow. Hell yeah. Did you run into any NLBC runbacks on the way up there? No. Well, I got smoked first round by TC at NLBC, get wrecked. And it was kind of like a little bit of that online taste too, but he's very solid. I got smoked after that last game last round. And then Marvisto beat me last game last round. He mm. actually smoked me with Honda. I, I got kind of slapped up. So he got eliminated before I could play him this time. Um, so no runbacks this time, just all new competitors. All right. What do you think about your pull it was pretty clean in winners finals and grand finals. Uh, so, yeah, the I, matchup is. I, yeah. <laughs> and then the Falk matchup is also bad, right? Right. I just, I actually, I just don't know anything about Falk, but it's just so bad that you don't have to know anything. It's just one of those matchups where you just <laughs> maul, so you can just play on pure instinct. I, right. I just know when I play Arts Falk with any other character, I'm like, wait, what the fuck is this character? Like, what is she doing? Because I realize <laughs> I've actually never played the character because Balra kind of just invalidates her. <laughs> that's that's kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know what she's supposed to do. I just dash yeah. lunch. So uh, <laughs> you're you're playing in CPT tomorrow. Um, is the bracket out yet? Yeah, it's been out. I got like. Uh, How do you feel about your bracket? It's it's tough, but they, they all are. I got like Chakate at the end if I get through, but mm. there's obviously like killers along the way. Um, Spriggan, kind of like a Midwest online. Not online warrior, but he's always in ranked, and we play a lot, and a few other, uh, few other landmines that I got to get through. But the, right, the main so, one at the end is Chakate. So when you cook Chakate tomorrow, how are you gonna feel? Uh, I mean, you, you know when you flip a coin and then you call it heads, and you're like, oh nice, and it lands on heads. heads and, oh and shit! You're like, you're like, okay, cool. <laughs> That's it. That's all you can feel. <laughs> and, you, and your boy thinks he's nice in rock paper scissors, and then you you beat him, I mean, and he's like, he "Wait, is, hold up!" You know, like yeah, nice at rock yeah. paper scissors. That's he the is problem. Nice. He's very you're gonna nice wish him rock paper scissors. You're gonna wish him a happy birthday, Brian. Same is kind of Twitter post. Too? I I don't know, but whenever it comes, nah, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow's tomorrow's his birthday. Give him. He give should him a celebrate nice tonight. Yeah, like really hard. Before it's too late. Like <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have time tomorrow. He needs to go ham tonight. Like just turn it up real quick you know for, for those of you out there that don't know i may or may not be rooting for brian extra hard tomorrow for no reason mm -hmm. no reason at all so yeah, bunch do also that? does not hate mika or grapplers in general for those yeah. of you that are wondering about that. oh so, yeah no so. i would i would never say things like mika players are stupid or they should go fuck themselves ever <laughs> totally I, not my boss no. just told me to fuck myself i'm out <laughs> <laughs> i'm It'd not his like boss that. i don't pay him Oh um, shit! No, no but um, it's even worse. Yeah, it's even worse. <laughs> but yeah, for real. Um, I don't want to hold you up any longer. I actually have to go and run and do some other stuff. But um, thank you, Brian, for coming through. I hope this isn't the last time that we see you. Um, I no, I'll probably, need to probably be around as a sick tournament. I mean, I, I'm thank also. You. Like super happy you got the match you know popping off. I was showing that the whole time, like trying that to explain was... everyone, like just just do it because it's free money for the FGC. <laughs> and like anytime you see a match, you know, in any stream, just do it because it's real. It's like yeah. it actually just helps. And if you don't use the codes, it's just money just not being used in the FGC. So yeah, yeah, guys, so it's, it's, yeah. it's free money yeah. that goes to the players. Like if 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 there's ever a time to just click on something, it would be Matcherino always. Right. So I think so. you got all the codes used this time. So that's uh, yes. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Art. I know I know Art was streaming this too. He's blasting doing doing his uh his shill thing. So sure. uh yeah. Yeah. Um shout outs to everybody that I didn't that I didn't mention before, but I gotta get out of here. You guys can keep talking. All right, sure. All right I'm out. Bye. Peace. Peace out. Yeah.